So it was always a bit of a tomboy, a bit of a tearaway. But she was always very independent. You know, anything she ever got, she, she worked for it and earned. Always, she was hard working. Emma, as a, a child, was a little tearaway. A memory that sticks in my head that she'd done quite often was lock herself in the bathroom and play with the toothpaste and the shampoo. And it would knock at the door, come out, Emma, come out. You know, you're not in trouble, I'll not beat you. She says, uh, well, if I don't open the door, you can't beat me. <laughs> so she'd done that quite often with uh, locking herself in and forever cutting her bits of her hair. And her hair is like her lovely baby Arya's all over the place. So when we got it settled down into growing well, she took the scissors to it and whacked it off. So uh, she's a little tear away. Yeah. Fond memories of that now. The best things about Emma is, uh, you know, bubbly, brilliant personality, very kind, and most of all, she's a brilliant mother. I made the first move, but it didn't take that much persuading. <laughs> what we enjoy doing together is uh, spending time with our family, you know, even just getting home from, from work, having a stressful day, and just relaxing on the couch watching a movie. Well, he was the youngest son, like, he was uh, five older brothers. I can rest him. Good, good lad, you know. Ah, oh, just a wee bit. He could be a wee bit mischief like at times, you know. <laughs> he was my sixth boy, youngest of the six. He was only a baby. And I was going out to the washing line, and he had his fingers stuck in the door. And I closed the door on his fingers. And all I remember is throwing, the, throwing him in the buggy and running to the hospital with him. <laughs> and that's about it. But he was, he was a devil. He was a, a devil, but I could be devil, you know. <laughs> and he was my baby. Um, the best things about Emmett are he's very funny. He's very good with our daughter, Aria. And he's very dependable. Like he would do anything for anyone. Um, when me and my sister moved out here from Ireland, we met him through mutual friends that were already here and then so we, we were friends for about a year before we got together. Well now we have the baby, we enjoy anything where we can get a babysitter, like going for dinner, relaxing. The most thing I'm looking forward to is uh, watching my daughter Aria growing up and actually having more children and watching them grow up and, and especially trying to make Emma happy. She's a great girl. I think I want to have about three kids, four kids maybe. <laughs> well, Emmett would love about seven, but I think three would be plenty for me. It depends on the situation, who wears the trousers, but I think I probably do. It's me. She's a lovely girl, Emma. Um, we couldn't have done any better, you know, by choosing her to do as well. She's a great girl. She's from my hometown, small world. A very, very nice girl. Lovely girl. I heard all this singing, nine o'clock in the morning. Up the ladder I will row. That's no joke, that's no joke. Absolutely steaming at that time in the morning for all the neighbours to hear. Oh, he was quite cracked now. But now I've got to know him and he's a really sound lad. Like, you know, I'll be proud of him tomorrow. The first time I met Emmett, we had a few beers and he ended up pushing the pavlova into my face, which uh, he was quite boisterous, but I thought it was funny and uh, he was a really nice guy and I could tell that from the first time I ever met him. I think the uh, best advice would be to not take each other for granted and they should be okay then. <laughs>